With just over half an hour to the opening bell, futures are still under pressure. S&P 500 down some three quarters of 1% giving back yesterday's uh, gain. Our next guest says there's little chance the Fed gets to a 2% inflation target without breaking something. Uh, for some market strategies, let's bring in Catherine Rooney Vera, chief market strategist at Stone Next. Uh, Catherine, uh, it's good to see you. Now, I mean, uh, let's see, inflation has come down from 9% or so to 3%. Nothing has broken, at least nothing too consequential. Uh, why do you think from 3 to 2 we're going to have to see something uh, get disrupted? Well, core PCE is, is still at 4%, with the target being two, Mike. And I think that in a, an economy with full employment, it's very unlikely that we get to that 2% target unless uh, wages collapse, you know, or we get some breakage with regard to, um, to the consumer. Consumer strength remains there. We have retail sales this morning that prove that point. Uh, real wages are positive and appear to be trending higher. So the soft landing appears to be happening at the moment rendering the 2% target di difficult when the vast majority of inflation at this point, core PC I'm referring to, is service sector based. For sure. Um, I, it seems, though, that the market has, has gotten to where it is. Uh, and of course, we backed off 3% from the highs in the S&P, but we basically had a 20% total return in the S&P uh, through July. It's gotten there <laughs> in part, it seems, because the economy has held up better than expected. Inflation has fallen consistently, if not all the way to target. Uh, earnings estimates have at least flattened out and started to grow again. And it seems the market is OK with the Fed going on the slower side, even if it does have to hike some more. Does that formula still work from here on out, do you think? I don't think it works going into 2024. I think it works from now through year end because inflation trends are, as you said, positive. Um, the issue is, however, if, if the U.S. consumer remains strong in a consumption based economy with uh, real wages positive, full employment, uh, very near record low unemployment rate, that makes <clears throat> going from four to two the, the heavy lift, not the headline from nine to three, which is generally moved by goods and uh, goods prices and energy prices. So I think 2024, Mike, brings um, a very tough decision for the Fed. The Fed's going to have to choose between a strict interpretation of its dual mandate or uh, except uh, higher for longer in terms of inflation. I think the Fed probably next year doesn't cut at all. I think they stay at five and a quarter or five and a half for the foreseeable future. That's one or two years. And I think that in itself can induce um, a delayed recession. And in my view, uh, if the Fed is really strict about its 2% inflation target, that's what will be required to get there. You know, we're seeing uh, the 10-year the yield hit four and a quarter this morning. It's backed off just slightly after the retail sales. Before 23, it's basically at multi-year highs, matching where we got to in October. Uh, does that present any kind of an opportunity if you're looking at a, a diversified portfolio? At least bonds can do their job as a, as a hedge against a weaker economy, against stocks, or, or is that a challenge for the most part? I still like the steepener trade at this point, the 210 steepener. It's worked out very well. We put on at Stonex that call about two weeks ago. Um, we do have countervailing forces, of course, uh, opening up the yield curve control in Japan, massive uh, fiscal deficit here in the U.S., almost 9% of GDP, issuing needs a trillion dollars in the quarter. It's, it's, it's very big. So those are countervailing forces um, to a Fed that looks to be nearing its, uh, it, the peak of its terminal rate, which mm -hmm. should be in the net good for the inflation trade. Um, so I'm still not looking for duration at this point. I think there's yeah. a higher risk the Fed actually hikes a little bit more. So I'm looking at playing the, the gotcha. uh, short tip play. Understood, Catherine. We, uh, we got to run. Appreciate the time this morning. Thank you. My pleasure.